Hey guys, it's Trevor Hagen here, and this is Beyond Transmission. Today we are in Paris, France. I'm out here as a DJ this weekend at Paris Disney, and it's been a great time with a lot of awesome people. Anyway, this past week, I was talking to a friend of mine about what it means to live an authentic life, since that it kind of seems to be like a popular subject as of late. And it stimulated quite an interesting conversation between us, most of which I'd like to share with you guys today, along with my view on what it means to actually live an authentic life and how to attain and truly live that. About 10 years ago, I woke up one day, I looked at myself in the mirror, and I realized basically like in one instant that I was not only unhappy, but I was completely out of alignment when it came to being my genuine self. I don't know if you've ever felt that way, but I felt like I had lost who I was deep down, and it was at that moment staring me right in the face. So at the time, just to kind of put it all in perspective, I was actually driving a Mercedes Benz, um, I was wearing a $7,000 watch, living in blinged out suits, basically pursuing a lifestyle centered mainly around money as I was working what you could call a high pressure sales job. Now, I'm not saying that any specific pursuit or career is objectively wrong. I actually know a lot of people that are very talented and great at the job that I was doing. And in fact, for a lot of people outside looking in, especially if you didn't know me too well, um, I would have maybe been looked at as a young, successful entrepreneur. But inside looking out, I just knew this was just not me. And so I remember sitting down and thinking, if I were to strip myself of everything that I've been doing over the past few years, and everything also that I've attained, who would I be and what would I love to do instead? You see, way too often, I think we define ourselves based on career decisions that we've made um, or things that we've accumulated in the past. And if we're just able to erase all of that for just a moment, we're able to gain clarity and self-awareness. Now, before I move on, you might be asking why is living an authentic life so important? Well, I've seen that oftentimes we go about life falling into paths that were most likely carved out by other people. And we inevitably compare ourselves to them as we fall into these paths and the steps that they took instead of realizing that we are here to carve our own path and there's really nobody else to compare ourselves to. I think that by doing this, we liberate ourselves from the pressure and the suffering we feel by constantly trying to live up to a certain, a certain standard that's not ours, it's unattainable, and I mean, it was set by somebody else. According to research done by Curtis Goldman and a lot of other people, those that live an authentic life, they tend to enjoy a more purposeful life, um, they're more resilient, less likely to turn to self-destructive habits for solace, and are more likely to follow through on their goals. If instead you find yourself feeling like fragmented or unhappy, bored, stressed out, stuck, uninspired, these could all be signs that you're probably not acting in an authentic way or you're not living a genuine life. But the good news is, this is something that you can change right now. Living an authentic life is actually quite simple to define, but, but obviously at times it's a little less simple to live and it's this. Being connected to your values and your desires and acting deliberately in ways that are consistent with those qualities. So the question is, how do we know what those values are and how can we start living in more accordance with what we really want? Well, at its root, authenticity, as I said before, it requires self-knowledge and self-awareness. There's power in being aware that you're in absolute control of your experience and you're not just some puppet that's being pushed around or some stranger in this world. Um, also understanding there's abundance in this life and as we connect to the core of who we really are, we connect to that abundance. So there are a few things that we can do to get started on our path and the first is to rediscover and redefine those values. For me, it was easy to hold tight to the values that were kind of given to me as I was growing up. But as we get older, it's essential that we reevaluate what feels right to us now and align our actions around those things. 
When you can get clear on what you really care about most, you'll find that authenticity will just come naturally. I also might note here that living authentically doesn't necessarily just mean doing or saying whatever you want or feel at every moment of every day. Um, for a while, I kind of thought that. Uh, for example, if not being a jerk, but actually being a nice person is a value that you have, then being genuine to that is actually more authentic than possibly offending someone by simply speaking your mind all of the time. Secondly, it's vital that we foster an open mind. Authenticity really starts to flourish when we experience the world wholly and from every perspective. So rigid or this good versus bad thinking, it keeps us trapped in judgment and limitation, which only causes us to shut down our vulnerable, authentic self. That's right, I said vulnerable, authentic self. Challenge yourself to look at all sides of every situation and every possibility. And remember, there's no objective right or wrong way when it comes to living an authentic life. It's only subjectively right or wrong as it pertains to you and your thread of values. So being aware of what those values are empowers you to live a more genuine life and helps to minimize suffering by not living out of alignment of who you are at the very core and what you truly desire. Which leads me to the next tip, which is to be aware of self hypocrisy. And what I mean by that is being aware of when your actions are not aligned with your values. For example, if you wanted to save up to buy a new house, but instead you kept spending your money on things that like are not as valuable to you, then I would say that you're living in self hypocrisy. You're cheating and, and fooling no one but yourself in that situation. And it happens to all of us all the time. So constantly evaluating your actions and thinking about which actions actually align with your current goals and which ones go against you is crucial to your ability to live more authentically. Lastly, I would say trust your intuition. A lot of times you might feel out of sync when you're acting inauthentic. Um, it's these things that just kind of don't feel right, you know? Pay attention to those little hunches that come and impressions that you get. They could be your instincts telling you that you're not being genuine or true to, to yourself. And when you pay attention, you can get back on track and you'll also feel that too. When I get to know someone that I feel is trying to be a genuine person, regardless of what their values are, it inspires me. It's a willingness to act in accordance with the genuine nature of someone. And when it feels vulnerable, that's a beautiful thing. Authenticity may require you to make unpopular decisions or to acknowledge aspects of yourself that you'd rather hide away or you've been hiding away for a long time. But I promise you that in the end, it will allow you to live a more open, honest, and engaged life. I can say today that I'm living a much more authentic life than I was 10 years ago, and even more than I was one year ago. But you see, authenticity is not so much a destination, but it's a constant journey that goes deeper and deeper. And staying true to that will lead all of us to live a fuller and a more rich life as yourself. So anyway, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like these and to comment below with any questions or anything that you'd like to share. Stay curious, you guys, and we'll see you next time.